Hai Erika. I I I don't listen. <laughs> Hi teacher. I know I am. <laughs> Teacher, me llamaron porque vamos a seguir la clase el lunes. Sí, es que fíjese de que yo no sé qué fue lo que sucedió, pero cuando convertí el video, me extrañó que bien rápido me lo empezó a convertir. Y dije, yo no sé qué pasa. Y mire, solo 30 y como 31 minutos me, me, me grabó. Sí, así me dijo, como que de 8, 40, a 9 y algo, creo que la vamos a tener, ¿verdad? El lunes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. A 9.40. Sí. sí. Ajá. Pero yo le dije a ella, a ellos, ellos, ellos felices porque vamos a practicar más. Sí. Es, sí, pero viera que me sentí, me sentí un poco mal, ¿verdad? Pero son cosas que pasan. Sí, así es. They are technical. Son problemas técnicos. Una amiga me dijo que tal vez había sido porque, porque Zoom actualizó hace poco, antier o ayer. Oh, la plataforma. Ajá. So, maybe that was the problem, but, ay, no, ahora voy a estar pendiente que diga recording. Sí, yo, hay, yo, me, yo lo que me fijé ayer, cuando usted entraba a los salones, es que no decía recording cuando usted entraba. Ah, ok. Yo, yo me, fijé, yo me fijé en eso, dije yo, qué raro, y ella siempre graba cuando, porque siempre sale, cuando yo he visto el video después, ya cuando está en la plataforma, veo la parte de que usted, cuando entra a los salones y, y está grabando. Ah, pues ahora hágame un favor, si no le aparece, tell me, please. <risa> ok, teacher. Tell me, porque de veras que, mírese, yo ayer hasta llorar quería. <risa> <risa> sí, me imagino. Oh, yes. Porque empezó a cabal a convertirse en very, very slow, I mean, very fast. And I was like, mm. cuando vi que se empezó a convertir rápido, no, algo pasó. Dije, mm. Y cabal, 31 minutes. Pero bueno, eh, son my, my, better, my best witnesses, but eh, we're gonna, we're gonna work with that. Ok. Ok. Me alegra que pues, we're gonna have extra time to, to, to practice. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, hi, Patty. How are you? Fine. <laughs> the, the, camera, the camera is uh, blurry. Está un poquito... Ah, okay. O quizás hay mucha luz. Mm, me voy a pasar al otro lado porque quizás ah. por eso es por la luz. Mm -hmm. Ahorita, ahorita me cambio de puesto. Like if you are in <ríe> no ha de ser el ventilador que está ahí que, da, que digo yo que ha de ser eso, que está muy cerquita el ventilador. De, de, ah, yes, that's the window. I, I see. I always. <ríe> ok. Ah, yeah, that was the, the light. Is it, is, it, uh -huh. is it raining where you live? Yes. Ah, Rain. ok. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so Rainy, I'm not gonna uh, touch all anything. all day in Sinsuntepeque. Oh, you live you live there. In my work is a uh, um seven department in Salvador. Oh yes, mm -hmm. you 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 move from department yes. department. Ah okay yeah it's, it's Cantones, very... municipios, pueblos, <laughs> ciudad, todo. Yeah, it is. It is very. It is very exhausting. Yes. <laughs> very exhausting. Yes. Is it is exhausting? Um, nice. I know. Yes, because you are, not, place. you are not in an office. I mean, you uh -huh. go out. Yes. <laughs> you go it's out. All rains in Suntepeque y Lo Vasco. Oh. All day. All day. It has been, yeah, but in my case, I prefer the, I prefer the rain. Yes. I mean, the, the me rain too. is, is, is better. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, everybody, good evening. Uh, well, good night. Please, Erica, <laughs> tell me. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Erica, Erica told me that yesterday she saw Hi. that we went to the breakout rooms. It didn't say recording. All right. So, uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe I touched something, I don't know, but I hope that we don't have problems today. Okay, 
So we're going to begin today with our class. All right. So today is class number 18. Oh, let me see. Okay. So today is class number uh, 18. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do is today... Today's class is also very interesting, okay? Because we're going to do a lot of things, a lot of things. And, and the topic of today is very easy and it is very important. So today we will learn to talk about policies and procedures, but we, will, uh, we have been talking about poli policies and procedures using should. We have been talking about policies and procedures using could. Now we're going to talk about policies and procedures using if and using when to join clauses. Clauses are sentences, okay? That's the word, but that is something that we're going to study uh, later. All right, very good. Now, um, so today we're going to practice some questions, okay? We're going to practice some questions right now. So we're going to have some conversation questions. Maybe it is something that you already know. And it says how often, okay? Have you ever heard questions with how often? Cada cuánto tiempo? Exactly, very good. How often? How often do you travel? That can be the first question. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try, you can use or you can answer with always, sometimes, or never, all right? So you can answer with always, sometimes, or never. The, the questions that you're gonna ask. For example, if, you, if I ask, um, uh, for example, Herman. Herman, how often do you travel? Some, sometimes. Okay, so to answer the question, you have to say, I sometimes travel. Okay, very good. Yeah, I sometimes travel. I sometimes travel. Yes, I saw, exactly. So in that way, you are saying the sentence complete. Yes, because that's what I want. I want you to answer the questions in a complete way. So another option can be, Imagine if it is uh, always. So we're gonna say, I always travel, right? I always travel, I always travel. Or imagine if it is never, or so, uh, never. I never travel, okay? Very good. Or you can say, I usually travel, okay? I usually travel. Okay, so we can answer the question in four different ways, all right? I sometimes travel, I always travel, I never travel, or I usually travel, okay? Very good. Now, you have to pay attention to all the questions that are here, and you have to answer in a complete way, all right? You can use sometimes, you can use always, you can use never, you can use usually. Usually means usualmente, okay? Very good. So the question number two is, how often do you wake up in the middle of the night? That means at 12 a.m., midnight. How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? Oh, I wake up in the middle of the night. I always wake up in the middle of the night. I sometimes wake up in the middle of the night. Is it clear? Yes, yes. very good. So yes. that is what we're going to do today. We're going to practice these questions. These are conversation questions so we can practice more the speaking skill. Okay, very good. Um, for example, let me see. Herman, ask me a question. You choose a question and ask me, please. Okay. Um, how, how often do you practice sports? I mm, sometimes practice sports. Okay, very good. I sometimes practice sports. Erika, ask me a question, please. 
How often do you say, I love you to your parents? I never say I love you to my parents. I love my parents, but I never say I love you to my parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Eh, let me see another person. Linda, ask me a question, please. Uh, how often do you have English classes? I never have English classes. I teach English classes. Yes. Have is like if, if I was a, a student, all right? But I will imagine I am a student. So I will say, I always have English classes, okay? Francisco, ask me a question, please. Okay. Uh, how often do you go for a walk? Um, I usually go for a walk. Mm -hmm. But with the pandemic, it's not possible. But I usually go for a walk. Okay, so uh, do you have the picture from the questions, everybody? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so we will go and we will practice the questions. Remember, you can answer with always, sometimes or never, but in a complete sentence. Okay, very good. All right, let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six students right now. So <laughs> I am looking at the recording thing. <laughs> Okay, very good. So I'm going to send you two groups and we're going to practice. I will have four groups, okay, and I'm going to give you some minutes to practice. And bye-bye, everybody. Let's go to the rooms. Let's go to the rooms. What often do you travel? How often? Yes. Repeat, please. Sorry. How, how often do you travel? I, I usually travel. Okay. How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? I I usually get way up in the middle of the night. Okay, how often do you go to the dentist? Um, I uh, sometimes uh, go to the dentist. Okay, how often do you go to Christ Church? How do you say Christ Church? Church. 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 How often do you go to church? Yeah. I, I go. I go. I usually. Sí. I never wake up in the middle of the night. And how often do you wake up in the middle of the night, Reina? I never. Okay. How often do you go to to the dentist? Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay, let's say. Yeah. How often do you go to the doctor? I sometimes go to the doctor. How often do you say I love you to your parents? Um, I never say love you 
my parents, they did. I say love you, my son. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my son is always. <laughs> <laughs> No sé qué es eso, pero yo... Eh, aunque te cuesta a la iglesia, pero como pues... Ay, o va a la iglesia. ¿Qué tan a menudo o qué tan tío? Yes, ¿Sí? how Vas often do you go to church? Uh, I, always, I always go to church. Oh, excellent. ¿En Francisco? Yes, uh, I always uh, go to... Uh, What is the pronunciation? Church. 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 Yeah, church. Vale, no sabía. Ok, la siguiente. Eh, how eh, ahí está el otro compañero. Hay otro. Yes, Abel. Abel. Yes, Abel. Yes. Amen. I don't go. Okay. How often do you buy clothes? Clothes? I clothes. 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 Uh huh. We're gonna pronounce it clothes. 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 Yeah. We will go. We will I'm... leave in a moment. Give me a second. And. Whoop. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you more time to practice, but this time you will practice with a with a different person because I have Abel is is here. I I I saw Sandy getting online, but she disappeared. All right. So, let me see. We're going to go again, but I'm you're going to practice with another person. All right? Very good. I will recreate the rooms and I will have a group of 3. I will have a group of 3 with let me see. Edgar, Manuel Bonilla Franco, Erika, and Linda Xiomara. You will be the group of three. Okay. And we're going to practice with a different person. If you can, try to ask the questions a little faster. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's go. Bye bye. Uy. All right. Very good. Uh, Edgar? But continue the uh -huh. brush your teeth. Okay. How often do no. you brush your teeth? I always brush brush my teeth. My teeth. My teeth. 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 Okay. Next, how often do you listen to music? Uh, sometimes listen the music. And you, Edgar? Uh, I usually listen to music. Okay. How often do you read? I always read. I like. <laughs> and you, Edgar? Uh, um, sometimes, um, sometimes real. How often do you go to the spot, the shopping mall? The shopping, shopping mall. mall. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I usually three times in the week. <laughs> Yes. Okay, yes, how okay. often? Yes, but my chores open 30. 
this month? Oh, your church will open. El, the 30 this month is open. 30. But 30. 30, yes. Okay. But, but only one person. Only How often do you eat candies? Uh, mm. Only uh, 100 personas? Only 100 people. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. How often do you eat candies? Uh, I always do you eat candy. Okay. How the often? How often do you go to the doctor? I usually I go to the doctor. Okay. How often do you say I love you to your parents? Uh, I usually, I usually, uh, I say I love you, uh, to my to my parents. Okay. How often do you take your English book to a study? I always, I always, I take my English book to a study. Oh, how often do you practice sports? Okay, very good, everybody. Very good, everybody. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna share the questions, and I will need some volunteers to help me. All right. Let's see. Just just a little quick um. Practice. Um, Linda, how often do you listen to music? Um, sometimes they listen to music in the day. Okay, let me see. Um, Francisco, how often do you use internet? I always use internet. You always use internet. Okay, very good. All day. All day long, yeah, for, for chatting and, and texting. In my work. Kathy, sorry? Or, or for your work? In my work. Oh, in your work too. Now, yeah. Okay. Patty, how often do you read? <laughs> I, I never read. <laughs> never read, okay. <laughs> Reina, how often do you eat candies? Reina? I never teach her. You never eat candies? Yes. <laughs> oh my, hey, that's good. That's good for you because of the sugar uh, or I mean sugar is not, is not good, but it's delicious. But good for you. All right, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next activity. The next activity is this. Here we have 10 situations, okay? So here we have 10 situations and with the 10 situations, with the 10 situations we have, you will, ah, okay. Sorry, but 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 we don't we don't see a, a little the, the first part, right? <laughs> but what you have to do is you have to rank, rank them, rank. I will write the word here, rank. Okay, rank. Rank. You have to rank them from the least serious to the most serious. So here we have 10 situations. What you have to do is you have to make a rank from the least serious to the most serious. For example, number one, arriving to the job late. Number two, stealing things from the office. Number three, arguing with a partner. Number four, punching your boss. Number five is sleeping in the office in working hours. So what you have to do 
is you have to make a, a, a rank, okay? From the least serious, I mean, la menos peligrosa o seria, right? From the least serious to the most serious, okay? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Very good. So please do me a favor, take a picture. Okay, do you have the picture ready? Yes, um... Perfect, very good. So what we're gonna do is we will go and practice in pairs, okay? So you can order this. You can order these activities that are here. Remember, okay. from the least serious to the most serious, okay? Very good. So the uh, most serious will... is the number one. Uh, no, the, the, the least serious is number 10, let's say. Okay, so we're, we, can, we can invert the order from the most serious to the least, okay? So number one can be the most serious. Number two, the, 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 the next one and the next one. Yes, we can invert the order, Linda. Yes, you are right. We can invert the order, all right? Very good. So uh, let's see, we're gonna go and practice. I can see that Abby is here too. All right, we can practice in pairs. Let me see. I will have Reina will practice with, with, uh, no, let me see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Sorry, I am just trying to move some people here. Okay. All right. So we will go and we'll practice this. Okay. Very good. And let's go. All right. Let's go. Rank them from the most to the least, from the top to the least. All right. Very good. We're going to invert the order. Okay. Hello, Sandy. Hello. Sandy, are you there? Sorry. Sorry. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> no problem, no problem. All right, all right. Continue. Okay. 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 The first is the... Mm, I say... The less serious. The... Nah, we're gonna change we're gonna change the order you can begin with the with the most serious to the least all right it's, it's easy it is easy mm -hmm. the, i think number two is is the most serious the most yes yes, yes. it's the thing from the office or the number four? No, but uh, number two is most serious. Or oh, punching, punching your boss. I don't know. Yes. Look at this. Depende. Is the pen? Se lo merece. Sí. Si él empieza. Will say, oh, it was self defense. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm, I don't know. The quad four, maybe. Saying bad words or saying. Arguing with a partner. Mm. Podría ser saying bad word. 
Say bye Ponemos esa. Bye. Y luego. Recipient with other uh, co-workers. Ya, yeah, eso. Uh -huh. Eso me parece. La nueve. La nueve. La nueve. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. The next. Uh, maybe arriving to the job late. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, saying bad the board. Eight. Saying bad words. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, number eight. Uh -huh. In bad words, is a number four. Four. Okay. okay. And the next, uh, number one, I write the Yes, yeah. Yeah. No, for the office is the number two. Is By the five. Um, tal vez de say them bad words. Say bad words. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The five. Six. Six. Sixty is making personal problems. Is sleeping in the office your working hours? Uh -huh. yes, la, la oh, lying planet. to your boss about mistake? Uh -huh, yo creo que es. La número seis. No, 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 ajá, por eso sería, esa sería la número cuatro, después de saying bad word. Ah, perfecto, el número cuatro. Will be number, uh, so you finish. No, yeah. no. Ah, okay, don't worry, because uh, we have, to, uh, we are running out of time, but we're gonna. Sorry, everybody, I was, I was speaking to myself. Now, um, what we're going to do in this moment is uh, we're going to go again to the groups and we're going to finish because you didn't finish, right? You didn't finish. All right. No. Good. Carmen Irene no. is, is here. All right. So let me see. We're going to go again to the small groups and I'm going to add Carmen Irene to one group. All right. Oh, no, I'm not going to touch that. Okay. So I'm going to give you some more minutes so you can finish. Two more minutes, okay? Bye bye. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, who is who is one, two, three, four? Hello, hello. Who is hi Jose Nelson? How are you? Hi teacher. How are you, Jose Nelson? I'm gonna send you to, to one group, all right? So you can so you can practice. Okay. Okay. And who is one, two, three, four? I think it's Ibit. Are you Ibit? No, I don't know. Ibit. Hi. Hi. Uh, you didn't change. Sorry. Don't worry. I will do it for you. Okay. I will do it for you. Don't worry.
a uh, Ivid Alexandra Rivera Rodríguez. Okay. And Juliana is here. Hi, Juliana. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi, good night. Okay, Juliana and Ivid, we are working with, with, uy, we are working with, with this. All right. Very good. We are working with, with this. These are some situations that we can have in the office. Okay. For example, arriving to the job late. I'm checking the, the stealing things from the office, stealing, stealing things from the office, arguing with a partner, punching your boss, sleeping in the office in working hours, selling things in the office, making personal calls, saying bad words, gossiping with other coworkers, and lying to your boss about a mistake. So what your classmates are doing in this moment is they are um, they are ranking, which is the, uh, don't pay attention to this, porque le cambiamos el orden. So we, uh, they are ranking from the most serious situation to the least serious situation. Is it clear? For example, some of your classmates say that top number one is punching your boss. Other, other uh, classmates say that is number two, stealing things from the office. So you're gonna make a rank, okay? So okay. if you want, take a, take a, a picture. Take a picture about about this, all right? Take a picture about, um, well, take a picture from the, the screen. Uh, you have it? Yes. Yes, very good. Okay, so I will, uh, uy, 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 uy. sorry. So I will uh, stop the share and you can, you can make a, a, a rank right now, okay? I will go to another okay. room. Okay, okay. Very good. Uh, uh, no, no. La cuatro falta también. Sorry? Four. Four. <laughs> I always, I always catch Abby. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh my God, time is, time is over. Time is over. Okay, yes. we'll finish right now in a normal. Okay. Can let Erika, you can see the you can see the, the, the thing, right? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You will help me because I, I don't want to I don't want to have the same problem that yesterday, believe me. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this moment is I know that you didn't finish, but we're gonna make a we're gonna make a, a rank. Okay? Very good. We're gonna make a rank. Yeah. And, but I'm going to do something right now. Okay. I'm going to do something right now. And is this. Okay. I'm going to cover the numbers because we're going to give them new numbers. All right. We're going to rank from the top, from the most serious to the list serious, but I need to cover the number. So according to you, my dear students, which is top number one situation? Uh, remember, remember uh, here, the answers will, uh, will vary, all right? We're not gonna have the same answers uh, all, but we're gonna try to get to an agreement. An agreement is llegar a un acuerdo. We're gonna get into an agreement. Okay, so what do you think number one is? Top number one, like the most serious. Two. Stealing things from the office. Okay, Grecia says stealing things from the office. Uh, punching your punching boss. Punching your boss. Punching your ah, boss. okay. Some of you say punching your boss and others say stealing things from the office. Okay, now I think, uh, in, in my opinion, I think, that the most terrible thing you can do for a person is stealing things from the office. Because if you steal things from the office and they accuse you, you can even go to prison. Okay, very good. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that in number one. And number two, punching your boss. 
Teachable. Yes, because Grecia was saying something very important. Grecia said, y si él me da primero. <laughs> yeah, that's what Grecia <laughs> said. And I, and I told her, okay, that can be self-defense, all right? Yes, okay. So which is number three, according to you? Go, go sipping with other lying co workers. To, to bus about a mistake for me. Oh, okay. Yes, lying. Some of, lying some to of your... you say gossiping with other co workers. And I yes. listened some of you saying lying to your boss about a mistake. So I think yes. that can be number three. All right? Yes. Lying to your boss about a mistake. Imagine if it is a very, very, very terrible mistake. That can be a problem, okay? Very good. Right. What about the next one? Which which do you think can be number four? Saying bad words. Saying bad words. Saying bad words. What do you think, everybody? Arriving to the job late. Ah, me. very good. Yes, arriving to the job late. That can be a problem, right? Because... If you arrive to the job late, some things can happen. You will discuss about that later. All right. What about number five? What can be number five? Maybe saying bad, bad words or making personal calls. What do you think? Arguing with a partner. Arguing with a partner. Okay, we're gonna leave number five, arguing with a partner. Imagine you begin fight, uh, arguing with your partner in front of customers. That can be a terrible thing, right? And, and there are clients over there. That can be a problem, that can be a problem. What about number six? No. Number six. Can... Sleeping, sleeping in the in... office. Sleeping in the office or saying bad words. We're going to leave saying bad words, all right? Very good. Saying, saying bad, bad words, words in the office, that can be number six. Number seven, sleeping in working hours, that can be another problem too. What about number eight? Yeah, gossiping with people. Maybe gossiping, all right. Maybe gossiping uh, about co-workers. What about number nine? Selling things, the selling things in the office. Okay, selling things in the office. And number 10, making, making personal making calls. Personal call. Okay, very because make personal calls, maybe you don't do it too often. Okay. So that will be that will be the order, right? Arriving to the job late, stealing things from the office. Uh, sorry, stealing things from the office, number one. Punching your boss, number two. A lying to your boss about a mistake, number three. Arriving to the job late, number four. Uh, arguing with a partner, number five. Saying bad words, number six. Sleeping in the office in working hours, number seven. Uh, gossiping with other co-workers, number eight. Selling things to the office number nine and making personal calls number 10. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to stop the share and I'm going to, let me see what's next. What's next? What's next? Oh, now I have a minute for you. We will have a minute to, to laugh. Do you know the meaning of laugh? Reírse, all right? We will have a minute for, for a laugh. Um, now, in, for this pandemic, has been very common, the Zoom meetings, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, I think, well, right now we are having a Zoom meeting. But I don't know if you have, if you have had an accident, for example, uh, your dog with you or, or, or something that can happen. So I will show you a, a video. All right, this is a video for you to relax in this in this mm. moment. Okay, so let me see where is it? It's here. No, oh, I don't want to touch anything. Okay, <laughs> I am afraid. 
All right. So right now I'm going to show you a video. And this is a, a, a funny video, all right? This is a little bit so you can relax. Que no le vaya a pasar. Pay attention, all right? Any of these situations can happen to you. Okay. So, this is a little, a moment for laughing. And if I just... Oh! Oh my God, did he fall? And it's really challenging, I know, with children home from school and working from home. It's just trying to just keep all of those distractions out of the way. The whole page comes down. No, don't touch the computer. I'm doing the whole metal part of the screen. The mouse itself. Don't use the mouse. Okay. No, wait a minute. It says, you stop video. No, I don't want you to do anything on the computer. Just screen. I don't want you to do anything on the computer. In reality, I've heard that social work kind of has very high standards and and like <laughs> like good standards of other professions don't have yeah. hold on hold on J <laughs> Okay, thank God in this class we haven't we haven't had any accident of those. <laughs> any accident of those has happened. All right, thank God. Okay, we will continue. We will continue. This was a little moment for relaxing. Now, um, the next thing is we have three questions. Okay, we have three questions here. Two questions, I'm sorry. Now, the first question says, what happens, pay attention to the questions, let me see. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late or the person appears late, okay? For example, imagine you work at 8 a.m. You start work at 8 a.m. and one of your coworkers Shows up, uh, the meaning of this bear, I will tell you the meaning of this bear. Show up means appear. All right, very good. So show up, appear. Que van apareciendo. Okay, so show up means appear. Okay, very good. So what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? And the second question is, what do you do when you are sick and you can't work? What do you do? So I don't know if you understand the two questions. Yes. Yes, yes. are the two yes. questions yes. clear or, or no? Yes. Um. yes. Yes, okay, very good. So it says, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late and what do you do when you are sick and you can't work? So we will go and we will discuss this question. So please, uh, if you want, take a, take a picture. Do you have the picture now? Yes, okay, very good. So I will stop the share and we will go to practice uh, the questions that I showed you. All right, very good. So let me see, let me see. I will recreate my room. I will have a group of, uh, a group of three. Abel, Jose Nelson, okay, I'm gonna, yeah, that's okay, Carmen. Uh, okay, very good. So we're going to go and we're going to practice this. Uh, write your answers, please, because later I will collect different answers from all of you. Okay, very good. So one, two, three, and go.
key in your company chore out late? In, in my case, in my company, uh, maybe have a, a amonestación. Sorry, a warning. <laughs> A warning, a warning, a warning. Yes, warning. Ah, okay. In, in, in my case, for example, for, is uh, for a uh, uh, a meeting. Um, maybe no problem, but the third one. But if for two or three, uh, for example, is a. Uh, uh, Warning, verbal warning, but is it, or the other is a, or the, the days, all the days uh, late, uh, uh, nine, uh, or other, other for the, the first day, first time is a warning, uh, a verbal warning, but it's a more, it's a more, uh, my basis is a, for example, uh, a, a right warning, uh, for, um, the, in the other case, extreme case is a, for example, uh, descuento, uh, at discount or the, the salary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, or suspend, suspend for three days or for uh, one week or one month for without salary, or go to house. Okay. Uh, uh. What do you Yes. Teacher. Yes. Eh, para decir en en la 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 first question. Eh, question. Yes. What what happens if an employee in your company? Show up late. Llega tarde. Um, shows up late. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Ajá. Yes. Este, para decir que se le llama la atención y corre. Eh, what is it that corresponds? Para... Ah, okay. You can say he or she. He or she receives a warning. Ah, that's the that, uh, advertencia, verdad? O su llamada de, de atención. She receives a warning. Receives a warning. Yeah, receives a warning. Okay? Receives a warning. Yeah, a warning. And later, when we go hey. back, we're going to make a, a list. All right? Yes. Okay, continue. Okay, the, the, the second, what do you, what do you do when you are sick and can't work? Um, I call my boss to tell that I am sick. Okay, very good. Now, let's see if you could discuss some of these questions, right? Now, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What can be the, 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 the consequences? Can you tell me? In my case, if we arrive late, we mark the arrival to work late. And, and those are deducted on the payroll, the planilla. 
Oh, oh my God. All right. So if you arrive late, you'll get a discount. Yes. Okay, I'm going to write it. So if you arrive late, sorry, because I don't see the, the, the color. I'm going to type some color. So if you arrive late, you get discounts. So, all right, very good. If you arrive late, you get discounts. Okay, um, another, another idea? Another idea, another person? In my world is a, a verbal warning. Mm -hmm. Ah, so if you arrive, let me see. If you uh, arrive late, right late, you receive, you receive a verbal, a verbal warning, like, like this, warning. Okay. If you arrive late, you receive a verbal warning. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think this is like, like the most common situation, right? Yes. So yes. you yes. Or you receive a warning, verbal warning, or if you have a lot of late arrivings, we can say if you arrive late a lot of times. If you arrive late a lot of times, you can get a written. Yes. Warning. Yes. All right, very good. Like that. Yes. You arrive late a lot of times, you can get a written warning. All right, very good. Now, number two, what do you do when you are sick and you can't work? For example, imagine you have a, a, an emergency. What do you do? What do you do? When you are sick and you can't work. I call my boss. Ah, okay. So when you are sick and can't work, you call your boss. Okay, that can be one option. Another option? When I am sick, I go to the east and okay. I call my boss. When you are sick and can't work, you go to East, <laughs> you go to East and get a sick leave. The meaning of sick leave is incapacidad. All right, so when you are sick and can't work, you go to East and get a sick, a sick leave. Is clear? Yay, very yes. good, very good. Okay. Leave incapac incapacidad, very good, yes. Incapacidad, sick leave, okay? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for a moment because I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the attendance. All right, let me see. So, Ruth Patricia Zuniga Alvarenga? Present. Okay, very good. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara? Present. Okay, Saida Janet Perez Rodriguez? Present. See you, please. Yeah, you are there, sorry. You look beautiful. All right, very good. Thank you. Ivit Alexandra, uh, Alexandra Rodri Rivera Rodriguez? Present. Ok, Víctor Palacios Reyes? Present. Claudia Lorena, no here. Grecia Ivonne Mejía Ayala? Present. Ok, Sandy Stephanie Pais Orellana? Present. Germán Agustín Ramos Villeda? Present. Carmen Mejiba Ramirez has never been present. Juliana Araceli Ramos Rodriguez. Rosales, I'm sorry. <laughs> present. Sorry. Gil Sigifredo Norberto Cerón Valle. He's not here. 
Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present. Always present. José Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Present. Thank you, thank you. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Murcia. Present. Carmen Irene Navidad. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos was online, but uh, she, uh, she doesn't have electricity in the house. So she was online from the car. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna take the the I will take her as present, right? But I don't know if she will continue online. Linda Xiomara Tabora Portillo. Present. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón. Present. Reina de la Paz Villatoro de Álvarez. Present. And Francis, last but not least, Francisco Edgardo Pérez. Present. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, nice. Now uh, we will go to, let's see, we will go again to this place. No, we're not gonna watch the funny video again. Uh, we're gonna go to the manual. So if you have your, sorry, perdonen si algunos momentitos me quedo así, pero estoy viendo si está la recording the thing, right? I don't want to have any other, any other uh, worries. Okay. So um, here, this is what we have to study today. So today we're gonna study a little bit of if and when. That is what we're gonna practice, if and when. So today we will practice the conversation in a small groups. So please go uh, take a picture, take a picture of the conversation. Uh, do, you, do you want the conversation? I'm gonna make it bigger, okay. Okay, I think this is perfect. Okay, so take a picture please. Uh, do you have the picture now? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to practice. Okay. Yeah, that is thing. Okay. So we're going to go and we're going to practice. Carmen Irene hasn't come back yet. Okay. So we're going to practice in pairs the conversation. Please try to practice the conversation uh, the best you can. Okay. And we will, I will give you some minutes to do that. Si termina una vez, if you finish once, change the roles. If you finish changing the roles, continue practicing un until time finishes. Uh, uh, that's okay. All right. So, bye-bye, everybody. Go and practice. Hi, Claudia. Oh, she. Hi, Irene. Irene, are you there? Hola, teacher. Ya estoy aquí ah, okay. Casa. Yes, I know, I know. Eh, cuando estaba pasando asistencia, when I was checking attendance, usted no estaba presente, pero le puse attendance because you were present, okay? And now you are you are back. I'm going to send you to a group. We are practicing a, a, the small conversation, okay? You will receive the invitation in a moment. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, gracias, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Let me see. Okay. I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't call my boss, call him or her, and when the person returns, 
he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up, show up, show, show up. Oh, show up, show up. Show up. Hmm? Like, no me presenté. I didn't mm -hmm. show up. Uh, thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Excellent, very good. Oh, I understand. If you see your brother, he or, he or she received a notification or warning, why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see you both, you both tomorrow is planning in this situation. Yeah, I think I will do, do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, I am Brad. All right. No. <laughs> now say. Hey, repeat. Yes. Yes. Finish. I. Yes. Is there a Nelson? A Nelson. Begin. Begin again. Okay, Brad. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine, and you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to... And when? So here, here. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to war today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thank you, Arnie. Okay. Perfect, girls. Have you practiced both times? I mean, have you practiced twice? Uh, four times. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. Very good, everybody. All right. Did you have problems with pronunciation? No. Did you have problems with pronunciation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Por ahí vi you yes. nothing. All right. No. So, yes. I, I, I have problem in... Okay. Uh, which, which word, Patty? Which word? My boss called call him or her and when the person returns. Ah, okay, okay, okay. He or she, I think it's Okay, so you say, well, if someone doesn't come, my boss, call him or her. Call him or her, right? Call him or her. And when the person returns, returns, return. yeah, return, return, he or she receives a notification or warning warning right warning warning and this one is show up to work right well because i didn't show up to work today y no hacemos ninguna pausa we don't make any 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 pause right we say well because i didn't show up to work today because i didn't show up to work today all right it's like like one one sentence and here, explain him the situation. Situation. Situation, right? Situation. It's difficult. Situation. 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 We're not going to say chong. All right. So this one, this is a, this is a suffix. It's a suffix. All right. Muchas palabras. A lot of words in English have this, this ending, all right? This is a suffix. That's the name in English, suffix, all right? 
So a lot of words, a lot of words have a lot of, have a suffix. And the pronunciation is like if you say, like, like if you say shen, right? For example, communication. We're not gonna say shong with O, no. It's gonna be like with eh, shen. Communication, okay? Communication, situation. Can you give me other examples? Give me other examples. Conversation. Conversation, right? We don't say conversation or chong, right? We don't say that. It's conversation. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, that, that can be the, the, the thing that we are, are doing right now. Now, uh, I'm going to share again, but now I'm going to activate sharing the computer sound because we're going to watch a video. Erica, you can see the thing, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Erica. You will, you, will, you will be my savior. So, we're going to watch a video, and the video says, well, the video is introducing new employees and the best place to start a business. Okay, so you will listen to people talking. They are talking about business things. So please remember, remember the activity with the videos. If you find a new word, write it on your notebooks. Okay, very good. Write it on your notebook. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to do it like this. So this is all the volume is up and go. It's time now to answer some of your business questions. Michael and Yannick are with us once again. The first question is about new employees. What are some effective training strategies for new employees to sort of uh, get them into the mix of the company as well, obviously make them uh, as productive as possible in the beginning? Yannick, you know this is, or both of you, this is particularly interesting in the context of this show because once you get somebody in, you want to train them in, in their tasks and in the culture of the company. So Yannick, what are some um, onboarding strategies? Well, I think, yeah, I think that's what happens is we get, we get so wrapped up in finding that great employee and then we f sort of forget about them once we bring them in. And it's, it's almost just as important maybe even to think about having a maybe first 100 days or first 60 days to really re-emphasize what they came in for, share the vision, share the big picture of what they're building, that something is bigger than them. And then also, you know, think about how, not micromanaging, but how are they going to be independent and give them mastery of of their tasks that they can go on and be uh, bigger, be, be part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it starts with good hiring. Yep. So you hire slowly, mm -hmm. right? And w what's the best indicator of future performance? It's past performance. So you try to, you work out a way to get people to do the work that they need to do before you will hire them officially. So there's that probationary period, mm -hmm. but it's the ongoing long-term training. It's not, hey, let's get them you know, up to speed in two weeks and then they're off on their own. So I think every single person should have a mentor inside the organization. It's a great idea. Absolutely. That's a great idea. You know, one of the things we do in my company, though it's still you know, small enough to do this, is anytime somebody new comes, the first couple of days they meet and sit down with every single person in the company. Mm -hmm. Because it could, you know, weeks, months could go by and you realize two people haven't even spoken to yeah. each other. And, and then the other thing you can do is you can bring them into the decision-making process. And every single month I send an email to my team and I say, so what am I doing that's working and what do I need to improve? And they feel comfortable saying, Michael, you're totally messing this thing up. You gotta, you know, you're hard to work with here or you're good, whatever right. it is. And, and if you don't feel like you can do that with the people you work for, it's not a good place to work. Yeah, well, good for you. That's, that's something about your personality too, but okay. Um, that, going to the next question, this is an email from Michael and he writes, we're service providers of a canine scent detection to eliminate pests. Although we have demand for our unique service, we need to increase branding and awareness. What suggestions would you have to help successfully achieve this business goal? Okay, so to explain that in English, um, I believe this company uses dogs to sniff out bed bugs. So Yannick, for people who don't know about this service or that you can even do this, how do they get the message across? Well, the biggest thing is the branding and awareness. He doesn't need the branding right now. He needs, it's a service that people need when they need it. No one's going to be thinking about bed bugs unless they actually have that issue. Mm -hmm. So that means that he needs to show up in the places where they're searching, which is obviously online, and going for long-tail keywords that are like bed bug elimination or bed bug 
whatever infestation and and then taking off by the regions too so he needs that and then he'll double up by having the branding so as soon as they show up at his site then there's a good looking site and there's a reason for what they're doing and what their unique proposition is but it's not beforehand it has to be right at the point of the problem yeah that's a really great point so big search engine marketing strategy yeah and i don't think anybody cares that it's dogs doing the sniffing it doesn't matter i have bed bugs get rid of them i don't care how you do it right so to focus on that is about them, not about the customer. And Yannick's exactly, exactly right. When you have bed bugs, you need them. So I would focus Google Places. Mm -hmm. I'd be very, very local in my search. And I'd do a lot of pay-per-click. And maybe on the dog front, though, they need some testimonials. So once you can get someone on the site, we can get rid of your sure. bed bugs. Yeah. Then you get a lot of the customer testimonials. But it still results that yeah. the customers are interested exactly. in not how yeah, well, you get there. Right. Once they hit the site, that's when, that's when it matters about the dogs, right? It's because that's the benefit that they're showing them and it's non-fumigating yeah. or who knows what, what, what the reason is. Right. right. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. This is a question about starting your business. Is there a wrong place to launch your business in the United States? In other words, is there one place that's better for you, like Silicon Valley, or can you launch a business in Florida? I love this question. Well, if you want to go into real estate, Florida is probably not a great place right now. <laughs> yeah? yeah. But, I mean, it's conditional. So, you know, there are market conditions that are important. There are tax conditions that are need to consider. There are lifestyle conditions that need to consider. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to live? Uh, hiring considerations. What kind of uh, 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 workforce do you have in that particular area? So there's a lot of different conditions that need to be considered. I, I don't think there's just you know, one answer. But would you suggest, Yannick, if you are starting a tech company, for instance, that Silicon Valley is better just because you have all of the resources there, or no? It, yeah, I mean, it's, it, exactly. I mean, just like Michael said, it's so conditional. I mean, it depends on what you want to do, you know, who your marketplace is, and, and why, why you're starting the business. But as far as I know, that there's been successful businesses in all, all uh, every single state of the union here, and uh, I think we'll, we'll continue to have it that way. Right. So I guess what you could do then is list down what do you need, yeah. and can you get that in the city and, or and town like, that you're going to I like to Michael's idea about lifestyle, you know, what's, what's important to you, right? Right. And you make, make that list, JJ, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, great. Thank you guys so much for all of your advice. This was You're incredibly welcome. helpful. And if any of you out there have a question for our experts, all you have to do is go to our website. The address is openforum.com slash your business. There, just hit the Ask the Show link to submit a question for our panel. Again, the website is openforum.com slash your business. Or if you'd rather, you can email us your questions and your comments. The address is your business at msnbc.com. It's time now to Okay, very good. Now, uh, did you find or did you see words that, that were not familiar for you? I mean, when we listen to these people speaking, right, they speak very fast. There are two problems. Number one, they speak fast. And number two, they speak, um, how can I tell you? Technical English, very technical English related to business, right? So, but I don't know if you saw words that were uh, were not familiar for you. Let did you take notes? Yes. Or or ah, okay, yeah. So give me a second. I will stop the share and we will. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> right now I am scared about everything, touching something that I don't have to. Sorry. All right. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make a list of the new vocabulary. All right, ask me and I will try to help you. Okay, go ahead. Earring. How do you spell that, Abby? Ah, A one? earnings? Uh, no. H I oh, hiring. Okay, yes. Yes, okay, very good. That is the meaning of that word, okay? Hiring, all right, it is a verb. It is a verb in English and it is hiring. Okay, another person? Awareness. Awareness, all right, very good. Let me see. I understand. No, 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 no. Okay. Awareness is when you have knowledge about something. You know something. You have information about something. Okay? You are conscious about something. 
All right, this is the word. Okay, another word? Yes, I, they, so talking about dogs, but I don't understand what is the analogy. Uh, they were talking about some, well, uh, they were they were giving they were giving some advice to a person who has a business and the business is that they have dogs they have dogs uh, these dogs sniff bed bugs do you know the meaning of of bed bugs <clears throat> no it's very Okay, so these dogs sniff bed bugs, all right? So, um, the, when the dogs smell the, no, I don't know, I'm confused. Okay, okay. Um, well, the thing okay. is that, the thing is that these people were like asking if there was a problem that dogs sniff, a sniff is this, when, when dogs do this. That is the meaning of a sniff, all right? So okay. these people were asking if there was a problem or there was something bad if these dogs sniffed bed bugs, these animals. Okay. And if you paid attention to the answer of these men, they said there is not a problem, all right? I mean, people don't care about how you get rid of bed bugs. Okay, so people don't don't care about how you get rid of bed bugs. All right, that that was the that was the idea, um, Claudia. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Get rid of, get rid of. This is a new verb. This is a phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. And the meaning of this verb, get rid of, is when you, uh, I mean, when you um, don't like something anymore. Okay, you get rid of it. Yes. Okay, another word. Another another new word that maybe you didn't understand. Janik. Sorry. Janik. Ah, Janik was the name of the of the boy. Oh. Yeah, he, it was the boy's name. Spoken. Sorry. Spoken. Spoken like this, sorry, like like this. Yes. Um, Eric, um, Erica, like this. Yes. Ah, okay. Spoken is the past participle speak. So we have oh. speak, spoke, spoken. This is the past participle. And the meaning will be right when something is uh, or when you said something already all right that's the meaning of spoken another example another another word maybe another word that 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 you found and and <coughs> didn't understand Teacher, rapid rapid yes this victor this yes, one? This, yes. Ah, okay. The meaning of this word is when you cover something, when you cover something, okay? That can be with, with paper or it can be with anything, anything else, all right? And it is wrapped, wrapped. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, very good. Another word? Uh, micromanaging. Yes. Micro managing. Yes. Okay, this let me check because this is a very this is a very business term. Let me see. Let's see if I can uh, look for something here. Oh, uh, Victor, it is translated like this. Micro micro managing. Uh huh. Micromanaging, that is the translation, Victor. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, maybe it is a, a business term. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what the meaning of that is because it is a very, very, very technical word. 
but I imagine it is it is something related to to that. Okay. okay. Well, teacher, nice. Teacher, thank you. My, very, sorry. Sorry. Uh, micromanaging, I think, is a uh, is como una micro supervision. Es así como cuando le están encima de, de usted y como que no la dejan o como que no se puede empoderar de su trabajo. Es como bien, es como una micro supervisión. Ah, all right. Ok, ok. Very good. Ok. Thank you very much, Claudia. Thank you very much. Ok. Well, everybody, we're gonna, we're gonna stop here for a moment. And we're gonna go to the next slide. All right, we're gonna go to the next slide. And the next slide is this, okay? Here, you have one, two, three, four, you have five situations, all right? Uh, I'm gonna point out these situations. So situation number one, situation number two, situation number three, situation number four, and situation number five. <laughs> Look at this. Now, what I want you to do is you will go to, um, we will go to the small groups and you will talk in pairs if these situations are usual or unusual in your life, okay? And you will say what every situation is. For example, what is this situation? What's the, what's the name? What's this situation? A sleep in the bus. Uh-huh, very good. Yeah, so that would be sleeping on the bus, okay? Sleeping on the bus. So that would be situation number one. So you will say, she is sleeping on the bus thinking. is usual in my life, for example. Okay, so we will say, sleeping on the bus is usual in my life. That you can say that, in my life, okay? Sleeping on the bus is usual in my life. And then you will say the others, right? The others. Just, I just want to mention something. Uh, you will mention this. Uh, you will begin writing this with ing. All right, very good. Sleeping. Aquí no dice durmiendo. Here it says dormir, teacher, but it is ing. Yes, but that is a, a, a something grammatical. You need, to, you need to begin the sentence with ing because we are talking about activities. Okay, so do you have the picture? Yes. Yes, you have the picture. All right, very good. Okay, no. so Hold no, no, second. no. Okay, no, very good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna display it. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Ready? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So we will go and you will tell me the name of the situations and if they are, um, let's see, usual in your life, in your life or not. Okay, very good. So let's go. Bye-bye, everybody. All right, very good. Teacher, I don't know. No sé qué pasó. No. You don't have the invitation. No. Por error le di escape. Creo que ese fue el problema. Oh, okay. G give me a... S oh, my God. I, I don't know what to break. Up. Okay, Herman. I will move you to another group quickly, and then I will move you to the group you have to be, okay? I will send you to group number three, but you have to be in group number seven with Grecia, okay? Okay. All right, wait, 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 wait. I can move you now. Uh, break a room number seven, yes, okay? Okay. Did you receive the invitation? No. No. Let me check. And now? 
no teacher. Ah, okay, but it says recording. Oh my god. <laughs> because in case it happens another situation, I don't want to. Sorry, sorry, uh, Herman. I'm gonna take a picture. Well, I'm gonna take yeah. a video that says recording. Okay, and right now it's the uh, 928. Okay, good. Oh, my phone, my phone, my phone. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, so we're gonna work together, Herman. Now, let's see. Sleeping on the bus is usual or unusual in your life? Or do you, do you have a car? Uh, yes, I, I, I have a car. Uh, usually, uh, uh, usually, teacher. What about uh, eating, eating in the office uh, in a hurry? Is usual or unusual in your life? Unusual in my life. Really, it's usual. No, unusual. unusual. <laughs> yes, unusual. Ah, okay, very good. I was, I was worried. All right, very good. What about? <laughs> What about uh, being bitten by a dog? It's unusual in my life, teacher. <laughs> okay, imagine a dog <laughs> biting you. All right, what about traveling, traveling in a crowded bus? Uh, in, in the bus, it's, it's usual. But in your life? Um, you should. Okay, very good. All because right. What about I, I, running I behind a, the bus? Uh, yeah, because you have the car. And what about running behind a running behind a bus? It's, it's unusual. It is unusual. Very good. All right. So running behind yes. a bus is unusual. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. I am I am looking at the at the thing because you know yesterday we had the the problem right Okay now let me see other unusual situations for example driving driving at night is usual or unusual for you um, uh... Before before the pandemia is uh, uh, usually. Was, oh, so usually. before before the pandemic, it was usual for you to travel uh, at night. I mean, to drive. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I drive at at night. Um, twice. Twice a, 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 a week. And, and today, no. Okay, it yeah, because you are at home, job. right? Yes, uh huh. All and right, very work, good. Uh, in my house. Okay, now everybody is back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the question. Let me see. So, running behind the bus is usual or unusual in your life? Unusual. Usual. No, usual. Unusual. All right, you can say unusual. Okay, usual or unusual? Unusual. Unusual. Mm. All right, very good. Usual. Unusual. Unusual. <laughs> unusual. 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 What about the next one? Eating in the office in a hurry. It is usual or unusual? Unusual. Eating in the eating. office in a hurry. Unusual. Unusual eating. Okay. Unusual. Office. In the office. Okay. The next one. Being beaten. By a dog. 
beat them. Beat unusual them. or unusual? Unusual. 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 My dog. And, 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 and look, look at the part of the body the dog is biting. Yes. yes. Poor oh. leader. Poor man. Okay. The next one. Traveling in a crowded bus. Usual or unusual? Usual. 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 Now, now no. <laughs> Unusual. Unusual. In normal time, yes, it's usual. Okay. Pandemic. For very pandemic, good. no usual. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good, very good. Okay. Now, I'm going to stop the share. And what I'm going to explain to you is this. This is what we're going to study today. Okay, we're gonna study if and we're gonna, we're gonna study when. Now pay attention to this. Let me see, okay. If and when they are two special words to join, pay attention to me, look at this. To join to, uh, here they say closet, but we're gonna say sentences. They are used to join Two sentences, okay? For example, we're gonna use if for unusual situations, situations that maybe almost never happen in our life. And we're gonna use when for usual situations, situations that are usual in our lives. And here we have the construction, all right? For example, we're gonna use if, okay, one sentence, and we have another sentence. Now, in here, if we if we use this this construction, we need a comma here. No, I'm gonna use another color. Let me see, I'm gonna use red, okay? We're gonna use a comma here. Pay attention, okay. All right, okay. So for example, the first sentence says, if I get up late, comma, I miss the bus. Maybe I get up late is an unusual situation. So for that reason, I'm gonna use if. If I don't have my morning coffee, I get grumpy. What's the meaning of grumpy? Do you know? No. Okay, grumpy is gruñón. All right, very good. If I don't have my morning coffee, comma, I get grumpy. Is clear? Yeah. Okay. And the last sentence says, when I talk to my mom, I feel homesick. Homesick is como... Nostalgico, right? When you are in another country. So when, when you talk about usual situations. Now we have the other form. The other form is if and when in the middle. Yes, and we, we, in, we change the order. I miss the bus if I get up late. And here we don't need to use commas. So it says, I miss my bus if I get up late. I get grumpy if I don't have my morning coffee. I feel homesick when I talk to my mom. Okay, is, is this clear? I'm gonna give you more examples, don't worry. I, I don't know if you want to take a picture, you can take a picture if you want, but we're gonna practice in one moment. Okay, take a picture. You have the picture? Yeah. Very good. Now, um, we're gonna go to the next slide. 
And here I have more uh, um, one example that can be clear, more, uh, well, it can be clearer. I ask for help when I need it. Something the person usually does, okay? I ask for help if I need it. Something the person does, but not usually. So if I use if in one sentence, the situation is not usual. And if I use when sentence, the situation is usual. Is it clear? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one example uh, of for me, for me. I get angry when people. This is a usual situation for me. I get angry when people make a lot of noise. That is something usual for me. I get angry when people make a lot of noise. No. Daddy? Do you have a question? It, no, it's not clear or, or, or is a little clear? So, so, all right, I'm gonna so, give so. you, I'm sorry? So, so. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you an exercise that we, that I found on the internet, okay? And it is this. Okay, what we're gonna do is here we have some sentences and what we have to do is we have to choose between if or when. So please take a picture. Todas tienen if, pero no todas usan if, all right? So please take a picture and you're gonna work in pairs, all right? Uh, completing the sentences with if or when, all right? If or when. You have the picture? Yes. Perfect. Very good. So, choose the sentence has if or if the sentence has when. All right. Let's see. Okay. We're going to work in pairs. And no, 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 no. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna work in pairs and this is something that is not. Okay. Bye bye everybody. La tecnología me, me aturde. <risa> A mí la okay. tecnología.
algo me ataranta, pero estoy aprendiendo, estoy aprendiendo. Ay, God. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Eso no lo oiga. I discovered, I discovered uh, you. All right, go ahead. Will buy me a car. If I'm 18, when I'm 18, yes, yes, number five, I am leaving work now. I'll finish this letter. I'll finish the letter when, when I, get, I home. get home. I'm leaving work now. I'll finish this letter when I get home. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do agree. The, cor the correct is when. El il que significaba era como el futuro. Sorry? If it's, it's when you say com como que pasará. Si pasa esto. Exactly. That's the that's the 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 way you use if. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am leaving one well now. That is that is the way you use if. I yeah. And clear. for me, is the five is when. Cuando llegue a casa. Yes, when I get home. In number six, it doesn't come. In this car, we'll take the subway. Yeah, we have a train okay. if we leave immediately. Let's go. Cogeremos el tren cuando nosotros. Así lo, lo puso con Gwen. ¿Cuál, perdón? La número tres. Mm. All right, let's see. Sorry, everybody, sorry. ¿Cómo? Sí. Ah, Me imagino ahí. yo. Yeah. And number four, my father will buy me a car. Eighteen. When, cuando, when I am, como cuando tenga 18, algo así. My father will buy my me car when I'm 18. 18. When. When. 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Number five. Okay. I'm leaving work yeah. now. Finish this letter. Boo! <laughs> Did you finish? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because you were yes. too serious and quiet. Did you finish? Yes. 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 So what do you have for what do you, oh we, we run out of time. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna join to, to the main room. Erika, you can you can see the, the thing right yes, now. Yes. Yes. Okay. I see the recording. <laughs> it is recording. All right. Thank you very much. Now let's see. If or when. What do you have for number one, everybody? If or when? If. 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 If, all right, if it rains tomorrow, we won't have a picnic. What about number two? I'm going to London. I will phone you. 
Gwen. 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 All right. When I Gwen. get back, we'll catch the train if we leave immediately or when we leave immediately. Gwen. Gwen. If. 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 Me. Oh. Yeah. I listen a lot of people saying if. Oh. And for you, Francis? Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, if. All right, very good. Uh, what about number four? My father will buy me a car. If. When. If. When. 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 A lot of people. When. When. All right. Okay. I'm when. Gonna, for I'm gonna me, try, when. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose when. Number five. I'm leaving work now. I will finish this letter. When? 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 Right, very good. When? Okay. What about number six? If. If. Sorry? Interference. Yes, I listened to someone speaking over there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, and what about number six? If or when? If, 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 if. Okay. If. Now, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. We're going to check the answer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you didn't listen to the claps, but all of them are correct. correct. Very good. Yeah. All right. All the oh. sentences are correct. Okay. In Spanish. Yes. All right. Now, um, I'm gonna let me see here. I have the, 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 the textbook and um, some examples. So, sorry, um, usted dijo ayer que no se iba a explicar algo sobre la encuesta. Ah, okay, yes, but eh, me, iban a, 10 minute class. <laughs> me iban a mandar un, un formato, pero este, sorry que lo diga en español, lo vamos a hacer todos juntos el viernes. Ok. Uh -huh. Así que no, no la vayan a, a llenar antes, uh -huh. me, porque ahora no me, eh, I don't have the, the, the example. Yeah, but, but, okay. but when I have the example, I'm going to explain it to you, but eh, for sure, Friday, ok? Ok. Ok, okay. Eh, can you see, can you see the, the textbook? Yes. 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 Ok, very good, I'm... Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay, very good. And here I have the examples. Okay, I have some exam more examples here. Sorry. Okay, here it is. Okay, now here we have more examples with if and when, but in the context of the company and procedures and all that stuff. So here you have the same information that I told you. You're going to use when for usual situation and if for unusual situation. Both clauses, clauses are sentences have to be in simple present. Use a comma when if or when come at the beginning. For example, here we have two questions. The first question says, what do you do when you forget your tools for work? What do you do if you miss the company transportation? So here we have two examples with when. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools and when I forget my tools, comma, I ask for a backup set. And with if, what do you do if you miss the company transportation? I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation or if I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Now, I'm gonna write one example here so we can work it together. What do you do? When, sorry, what do you do when you have an emergency? 
when you have an emergency in your job. Okay, what can be the possible answers for this question? What can be the possible answers? What do you do when you have an emergency in your job? Okay, and you're gonna do this. We can do it both ways. When I, when I have, when I have an emergency in my job, comma, what do you do, everybody, when you have an emergency in your job? Visit a doctor. Llamo al jefe. How do you say that in English? Call my boss. Call my boss. Exactly. I, como estamos uniendo dos oraciones, remember, the sentences are complete, subject, verb, and complement. We need to say, I call my boss. Okay? Yes. And in this case, in this case, you have when at the beginning. Okay? Pay attention. Here we have one complete sentence. And here we have another complete sentence. Okay? We have two sentences. And we are using when. But we're going to do it the other way around. Hoy lo vamos a hacer de la manera... De la otra manera. I call my boss when I have an emergency. Okay, so if you pay attention here, we have when I have a, I call my boss when I have an emergency in my job. Okay, now if you pay attention here, we have the same thing. We have the same thing. We have one complete sentence here. Subject, verb, complement. I call my boss. The other sentence. I have an emergency in my job. Y que las une, what joins them? It is when. Is it clear? Yes, yeah? Yes. Okay, now the other question. Uy, oh my God, we only have four minutes. <laughs> what do you do if you get up late? What do you do if you get up late, everybody? I run to the shower. Ah, you run to the shower. Okay, so you uh, tell me the sentence complete, Lorena, please. If, if I get up late, uh -huh. I use no, I run to the shower. Excellent, very good. I run to the shower. This can be one option. Now, please tell me the same sentence, but in the other way around. Anna? Claudia? Hello? Tell me the same sentence, but in the other way around. Mm. I... I run to the shower. I run, I run to get up late. Shower. When? When I get up late. No, because remember, no. Because remember that this is an unusual if. situation because yeah. we are using if. Yes. If, hmm? if I, run. I, run, I run to the shower if I get up late. Excellent. Very good. If. Okay. I run to the shower if I get up late. Okay, very good. Um, now, um, in the plat on the platform, please, that's why for me it's very important that you, um, that you go to the platform and you <coughs> participate from the, from the questions I, I type. Today, I'm going to check uh, your answers and everything. 
So please, maybe after the class, you can do it a little, a little quickly. Well, in my case, after the class, I have to, give, uh, I have to help you with some tutoris or tutoring. But I'm gonna for uh, in the plat on the platform, I'm gonna type two questions. One question with when and one question with if. Oh. And I will need the two ways. All right? Yeah? So I'm gonna type. I'm, I'm gonna type one question with when and one okay. question with if. And for each question, I need that I need, sorry, 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 sorry. I need the two ways. This and this in the case if the question is with when, and this and this if the question is with if. So please yeah. take a picture, take a picture. Yeah, take a picture para que puedan tener un ejemplo. Remember yeah. everybody, your participation on the platform is very, 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 very important. Avancen las tareas, porque you have to, you have to take a final exam, remember. All right, very good. Uh, well, everybody, thank you very much today for being here. I'm going to stop the share. Thank you very much today for being here. Uh, I will be waiting for, for, if you have a question, all right, people who are booked for today, uh, you can join the session, all right? Bye bye everybody. Have a nice night. Bye. Take care. Night. Bye, bye bye everybody. Bye bye. bye. Take, care. Take care. Bye. Bye. bye.